In this video, we're going to look at venous drainage of the lower limbs back to the heart. We're going to start again with our very simple heart here. And then what we're going to do first is mark some of our landmarks. So once again, we'll mark in the diaphragm. We're going to mark in these diagonal lines representing the inguinal ligaments. These little mouse holes represent the adductor hiatus. And just distal to that, we have the diamond shape at the posterior aspect of the knee that we call the popliteal fossa. So when we look at veins as opposed to arteries, we always start distal, um, away from the heart, and think about working our way back to the heart, the same way that blood would flow. So we're actually going to start down here, sort of near the ankle, and working our way back up the leg. There are three main arteries, or sorry, there are three main veins that correspond to the three main arteries that supplied the leg compartments, and they have the same names. So we'll have an anterior tibial vein, a posterior tibial vein, and a fibular vein. As these unite, they'll pass through the popliteal fossa, they become the popliteal vein. Now the popliteal vein is found right now in the posterior aspect of the knee, but as it passes through the adductor hiatus, it will become anterior. And in the anterior thigh, this vessel is now um, called the femoral vein. The femoral vein then has to pass deep to the inguinal ligament to enter into the pelvis. And when it does that, it will become the external iliac vein. The external iliac vein will unite with the internal iliac vein to form the common iliac vein. In this case, this is on the left-hand side. The exact same thing is going to happen on the right-hand side. I'll just start from here. Your two common iliac veins unite and they form the large vein in the abdomen that eventually drains into the heart, and this is the inferior vena cava. Now, in our limbs, just like we saw in the upper limb, we have an extra set of veins that we have to be aware of. Um, what I've drawn so far, these represent the deep veins, and they typically follow the exact same path as the arteries. We also have a set of superficial veins. So there's two main superficial veins that we want you to be aware of. One that starts on the lateral side of the foot and travels up the leg just as far as the popliteal fossa where it drains into that popliteal vein. That is going to be the small saphenous vein, sometimes referred to as the lesser saphenous vein. The other one will begin on the medial side of the foot and leg, travel all the way up the lower limb and eventually drain into the femoral vein in the femoral triangle, and that will be the great saphenous vein or the long saphenous vein.